With the body and shade of our lamp done, the last two parts we need to do in black and white before we can add color are the neck and the base. So let's again create a new layer and this time call it brass. Bring the paths palette forward, click on the lamp paths and highlight the paths that pertain to the neck and the base. You can do that by using the black arrow clicking in one, holding down the shift key and clicking in the other. Now we need to fill those two shapes. However this time instead of making a selection then going to the edit menu and fill just go to the path options and down to fill paths. This will accomplish the same thing and save some time. And just like before lock the layer position and the transparent pixels. When that's done Drag the brass layer below the body and shade layers so we can't see the parts that overlap. Now we need to shade those two parts, but because they're different sizes and different shapes, it's going to be necessary to do them separately. Let's start with the base and just zoom in a little. Take the rectangular marquee tool and put a selection around it, isolating it from the neck. Get the gradient tool with the lamp gradient using linear in normal mode at 100%. Then starting on the left edge of the base click and drag to the right while holding down the shift key stopping at the right edge. Let go of the mouse then the shift key. Because the transparent pixels are locked the gradient will only appear inside the gray area. Now one more thing. Because the base curves inward towards the light source slightly, the upper part needs to be a little lighter in value. To do that let's get the paint brush with the 20 pixel soft brush set to 50% opacity and put white in the foreground color. Starting on the left Place the brush outside of the base, then in this order click the mouse, hold down the shift key to constrain the brush and drag to the right all the way across the shape. That completes the base. Moving up to the neck, make another rectangular selection, only this time line up the top edge of the selection so that it only encompasses the lower cylindrical part of the neck. Then, just like before, using the same gradient, click and drag from the left to the right while holding down the shift key. Now, do the same thing with the top shape, only this time exclude the cylindrical part. Use the same gradient and technique, except this time make the gradation go from left to right using the thinner top part of the shape for the left and right boundaries. Now, in order for the light logic to be correct, we need to tweak this gradation a bit. We'll do that using the smudge tool with the 50 pixel soft brush in normal mode, strength set to 50%. Then, just smudge the lights and the darks until they conform to the conical shape of our object. When you're done, make sure to save the file.